Salamasiach. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to our second video. We are here today to share with you a very special program. Today I am dressed very differently as from before. Today I am wearing a shawl. Wait, wait, wait. We began each one by saying good morning, Miss Vita. But I want you to say as loud as you can, as loud as your parents will allow you, as loud as your elders will allow you. Good morning, Miss Vita. I want you to say on the count of three. One, two, three. Good morning, Miss Vita. Okay, okay, I think we did a pretty good job. All right, thank you so much for coming back and sharing this second video with us. Today we are going to be sharing how the Lenape and how First Nation people dress to this day. Now remember the last video we said we were learning about the Lenape. Everybody say, hey Lenape, hey Lenape. Very good. We are today dressed in a dress that's called a ribbon dress. A ribbon dress. Say that with me. Ribbon dress. Yes, and it's made from something called calico. Everybody say calico. <laughs> yes, very good, very good. Now, we are going to make our very own storyteller bags today. Today we are making something that is very special. A storyteller bag is something that was carried by the storyteller. They had a bag that they carried along with them that had different objects within them that would remind them of stories that were told 400, 500 years ago. Now the Lenape, they still tell stories to this day and they still carry their storyteller bags. I've asked my mother to come here today to share her history with me and I can't wait to share it with you. I love sharing these different stories with you because they're 400, 500 years old and only my mother could tell them the way that she tells them. But, but you know what's really great about making these storyteller bags is that we all have a special present that I packed inside of your summer camp package. So you already have the tools within you but the string, it may have been given to you but I today, I found these old shoes in my closet. These old ratty shoes that I don't need anymore. That the soles are kind of wearing thin and they got colorful shoelaces. So I guess they're pretty good for using for the shoelace string of my storyteller bag. Because stories are how we learn about the past and how we learn how we can live in the future. Now, I'm going to go to my healthy, happy, creative space where I invited my mom to go, but today the world is so different. The world makes it very different to go along and do things. I'm gonna make sure that my mom is protected when I go and learn from her. I'm gonna use my protective mask that I made very decorative. I'm gonna place it on my face before I go see her. And I know it must be hard to hear me through it. So I'm gonna talk through it until we see her because we must be six feet away from her in order to be safe. Now, let's go back to what's on my face. What's going on on my dress? I have a calico ribbon dress. Upon my head, I have a beautiful headdress that's made from macaw feathers. They're made from actual macaw feathers. They were made for us by something called a cacique. Everybody say cacique. Cacique. Oh, cacique. I know you can say it. All right. And we already have within our special, special virtual camp bag, we have our material that was given to us. It's felt, right? So I have my material. And I have my special string that I found either through shoelaces or something that my mom or my uncle or my elder or my aunt gave us. And we're gonna go and find out how to make our own storyteller bag. Are you ready? Come on with me, come on. We're going into my healthy, happy, creative space. I'm about to introduce you to my mom, but before I go to my mom, I gotta put on my face, my mask. My mom is going to be safe because I put on my mask. Ready? Hi, 
Welcome to my healthy, happy space. Hold on one quick second as I turn off this fan. Mom, I brought my friends to come and see you. Hi. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. Staying healthy, huh? wearing your mask. As I am wearing my mask right now. So today, my daughter so graciously asked me to tell a story but before that do a storyteller back <gasps> isn't that exciting it is okay. i'm so excited yay Great. so we will need these are the materials we'll need felt and you know you can buy these in many different colors and we need scissors right here scissors and we need some yarn but since we don't have yarn right now, we improvise, which means we use whatever we can to make it happen. Right now we have sneakers, <laughs> shoelaces, which is what we're going to use to finish up the storyteller bag. So we take a piece of felt like this, we fold it in half. Hold on. Okay. Once we fold it in half, we take the scissors carefully. Careful with help from your parents. Whoever is helping you, make sure they help you. And we cut it in half, just like this. How are you doing, Vida? I think I'm doing good, Ma, like this? Yes. Now we have two pieces so we take this piece we fold it here in half like this and then we use this part as the flap for the bag oh, now cool. isn't that good yeah, now yeah. you can take this and cut the edges like this to make it a little bit more decorative, decorative. yes, yes. <laughs> So you can so decorate any way you want, right, You Mom? can cut the sides like this, or I'll show you. So once it's like that, it's like this, there you go, see? Oh, I but that. don't throw any of these pieces away because you might want to glue them onto your bag and make a decoration anything like that or whatever you can take the little pieces so keep them handy okay, okay the second piece i'm just going to show you another way to do it I the see. flap you can flap? take the flap you can take it and do um like fringes just cut them straight up oh wow like the fringes that were see? on my oh yes you can do that. You can do that. Fringes all across like that. Little fringes like this. Okay, so for now we'll use this one. Okay. Then we take this side, which is where we're going to sew the lace to. So you're going to make little openings. Ah. See it? Opening. So you fold this over, Mom? Fold it over, yes. And go. Fold it, fold it over like this. And cut a little piece, just a little. Don't make them too, too big. See? That's two. And then you can do one, two, three, four, five. Right now we're going to do three on each side. So, so don't, don't fold them too. Don't cut too close because you're going to tie up the string at the end. Okay, so here you go. And there's an opening, so it's one, two, three. Then you're going to repeat the same thing okay. on the other side. I got it. You got that, Vida? I got it, I got it Great. going. Great. And you're gonna need the string, right, Mom? Yes, I am. All right. Cool. So while you take that string out, I am going to finish up here 
I make the three little holes in here and then this. So for those who don't have, this is perfect. If you don't have yarn, this is perfect. You take the first hole that you've made, see that? You put the string through, see that? Pull it all oh, the way wow. through. Oh, wow. Okay, so it goes through the both holes. Yes. And then you go turn it over. There's different types of stitching, actually. You can turn it over like this. Put it right through each hole. Like that. And see how it loops around the bag? And then you go to the next one. And the same process, see? Loops through. Oh, that's there so you pretty. Go. Or you can do it this way. This is the second stitching that you can do. Let me take this out so I can demonstrate. So you can do different stitching? Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, you can. But don't forget that the little string that's left, I always leave a little hanging because you can put a feather at the end, you can put uh, beads at the end, but you have to make sure that you make a knot to tie it in, all in. There you go. See yeah. that? So now it's secure. So you take the string and this is the other stitching. Instead of going around, you go in front and you're stitching. Oh, wow, okay. All right, Ma. So you can and go stitching this way. Through. See that? And you leave a little bit of string, like you said, mm -hmm. and then you tie it. Don't forget to tie it at the end. Tie so it at the end. So that you won't lose your feathers or your beads. And you see how it's done? And then you leave a good length behind because you're going to use that length to tie it around your neck. Oh, wow. Can you tie it around your arm or change you it can, up? You can put it around your waist if you want to carry your bag, um, like a belt. You can put it right there too. Take this, wrap it around like that with a string. You can take it and wherever you want it, wherever you want to carry this it's up to you i like that oh i like that so and nice. then if you want to close the bag this is the flap you can also do the same thing again here which make a little hole right here and you can pass a string through here as well Just for demonstration's sake, do you see that? This make-believe, make this is a separate string. So you take the same one little string, you put it through here, and then you put it through here, and you tie it right like this. And then it's tied, and you have this, oh, wow. and you have this hang that you can actually put also a feather and beads. Wow, okay, Ma, I didn't do the best, so I folded that over. <laughs> Let me see what you've done, daughter. Okay, sorry about that. So you fold it back over, like you said, and you cut a, a bit. little bit, little a bit, little not bit, not too much. Like that. Yes, right? let me see. Let's but see. But see, then the little bit of hole didn't go. Do I do then it again? Then you have to do it again. Do it again. We have to do it again if it doesn't go through okay and maybe these scissors are not sharp enough but i don't want you using very sharp scissors either and it should be everything should be supervised especially when you're using scissors see the hole oh, okay see that okay and That's then i yours. go okay so and even if i have a bigger thing i can make that a part of my bag that's okay and mom when i go around I go like this. Yeah, I can go like this. And you can actually use that same string that you did. You can turn it around. 
and use the same string. Or if you want to make it easy for yourself, you can actually take the string, cut it here, and then use the second string separate to pass it through. Ah. Okay? Okay. So we're going to do this so you'll see in here. And since I did the stitching the first way, I did it straight up. I'm going to keep doing it like that here. Okay. And then we have here, I'm going to show you. There you go. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have my storyteller bag. So you have your storyteller bag. And this, again, you do the same thing at the end. See this? You loop it around the last stitching. You make a little knot. Just I made my little knot. On both sides? I made a little, well, I'll make it on the there you go. See that? There you go. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's awesome. And Ma, can I decorate the outside? Oh, you can decorate, do anything you like. You can you can uh, put uh, glue paint on it. You can put uh, put some glue and then put stick beads on it. You can stick little feathers. You can do many things. You can even draw on it if mm. you like. Okay. And that's your storyteller bag. Oh, I love it. Isn't it nice? And the, the string, you can use any kind of color you want, whatever, and make it to what's best for you. Okay. And then once you have your storyteller bag, you can start putting things in it that mean something to you. Let's see, let's say you're walking through the park and you're having a wonderful day and you see a rock or a petal that, that looks fascinating. You take that petal and you take it, oh, this is so nice. And I got this at the park. So you take that and you put it in your bag. I got a petal. Wait, and you know I what? Got petal. I got a petal. And you know what? That will be your story. How did that petal get into your bag? And you'll say, ah, oh, I remember I was in the park. I was walking with my dad and my mom was sitting at the bench and I saw this beautiful petal and I found it. So I took it and I put it in the bag and that's your story. Anybody can make a story. And that's your story from your day at the park and the adventure you had in the park. And this little petal right here will remind you of that day in the park. Oh, Ma, that's amazing. Yes. Wait, Ma, can you show us from your storyteller yes. bag? And now for my storyteller bag. I'll hold it. Wait, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. My storyteller bag, it's made of leather. And in it, I have many, many things that helps to remind me of stories. Oh, look what I found here. String. I remember that day. This brings to mind a story that my grandmother told me. It's like a creation story, how the world came to be. In this instance, is how spiders came to be. Ooh, would you like to yes. learn, Would you like to know a little bit about that? I do. I want to okay. know. So let's put the story tell it back down. Would you like to hold yeah, it? Yeah, I want to hold it. Great. So this little stray just reminded me. I found this in some. I think it was like a spider's web. I found it, you know, there, so I, and it looks so pretty. So I kind of like said, "Oh, look at that!" So I took the took it, and I said, "Let me put it in my bag," because that reminded me of what my the story my grandmother told me. But um, this is how spiders came to be. A long time ago, very very long time ago, in this village, there lived. A woman who was a wonderful seamstress, which is a person who sews clothes and, and makes blankets by hand. And she was just wonderful. Everything she did was beautiful. Every day people would come to her 
from her village so they can she could make something for them they would ask for a dress they might ask for a skirt they might ask for a shirt they would ask for a for a blanket and she would say yes absolutely because she was good she used all kinds of colors she was very very good at what she did so she would be busy and she would start sewing and putting it together and the townsperson would come in and and she would hand them the thing and they would say oh this is so beautiful and then the next day she'll be doing that and the next townsperson come and then it kept coming and she was sewing for everyone and she got very popular because all the other villagers started noticing what beautiful garments what beautiful clothes what beautiful blankets the village had so people started coming from all other villages just to her and she says oh this is wonderful i i am oh i think i am the best seamstress around i know i can sew anything such so every day she would sew and she would get it beautiful and she would use all kinds of colors and people from from far and wide were coming from everywhere to see what she was making and she was so proud of herself and she was so happy and she kept thinking oh i'm great i'm wonderful i'm the best seamstress of all and she loved what she was doing but she kept saying to herself i'm the best I'm the best, I'm the greatest, she, and she was very good. But you know what? Someone heard, someone very important heard that she was saying that she was the best seamstress of all time. And so this person came and said, you know, I would like to see what she makes. So this person came to the door of her cabin and knocked, and she said yes. And he's, he or she said, I hear that you are the best seamstress, that you could make anything. And you know what she said? She said, oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I can make anything and everything. Oh yes, I am the best seamstress around. There's no one better than me. <laughs> Oh, the person said, oh, I heard about that. But how about, I sew too. Can I bring some of my things to you so you can see? And she says, oh, yes, oh, yes. But um, I'm sure they, they won't be as great as my <laughs> things. And he says, yes, your things are really quite lovely. They're colorful, they're driver they're just so beautiful and very unique and very special and she says oh yes everything is because I am the best <laughs> so the person said okay tomorrow I will come to your door and we'll see and she said okay yes so she spent the night putting all the most beautiful things she's made out so when this person came to the door they would see that she is indeed the best so the person came to the door and she says here are my beautiful things and she, and the person said oh yes they are they are beautiful they're so vibrant they're so colorful and what beautiful materials you use but where are your things the woman said where where what are you going to show me and he said I have, I can show you what I've seen. If you look up to the sky, you could see the clouds. I made that happen. If you look further up, you can see the stars. I made that. If you keep looking up, up high, you might be able to see the moon. I made that. If you look down on the ground and you see all the grass and you see the trees and you see the flowers, I made that. These are my works. And she looked at this person at the door and said, Oh, it, it, it is indeed beautiful, but no one can make that. And the person looked at the, this woman and said, Do you still think you are the greatest maker of things? The greatest seamstress? Do you? And she says, uh, Yes. 
and he's if you still think that you are the best, then you indeed shall be the best. So in one way, he went like this, and all of a sudden, the woman didn't exist. But what existed in her place was a spider, a big, dark spider. For she said, and then the, this person said, now you are indeed the best weaver of all time. And you know, children, if you look at all the spider webs, you can see the intricacies, the detail of how they weave and weave their, their little netting all over, how beautiful it is. And it's when it's faced towards the sunlight and the rays hit it, it looks like many, many different colors. Have you ever seen that? I have. I Isn't have. that something? I and did. that's why, to this day, we should never, never boast or say we are better than anybody else. Wow. And in storytelling, it's always about learning a lesson. And this lesson that you've learned today is about never boasting and respecting yes, others. Indeed. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, my God. And I have many, 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 many more stories to tell. And you know you've heard many of those, haven't you? I am so happy to have learned them. And I might just bring in some new ones next time you visit. Oh, I hope so. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. I am so happy. Everyone, thank you so much for coming in for this video virtual classroom let's all come out and we will say thank you and goodbye everyone have a great day <laughs>